Tomorrow is the first day of March, and that means cherry blossom season is just around the corner. Hundreds of thousands of people come to Washington every year for the National Cherry Blossom Festival. Just look at how bright and lively mm -hmm. that looks compared to the doldrums <laughs> of winter. Well, just five hours ago, the National Park Service released its prediction for peak bloom at the Tidal Basin, and that's where meteorologist Caitlin McGrath is standing by tonight. Okay, Caitlin, so we know that it's going to be really early this year, but just how early are we talking? more than a week above the average peak bloom, which is April 4th. The National Park Service put out their prediction and they're going with March 23rd through March 26th above average once again. So while the cherry blossoms don't look like much right now, though we have seen quite a few green buds, here's a reminder of what's to come in the next several weeks. In no time, the tidal basin is going to be filled with those beautiful pink puffy blossoms, just as we mentioned, well ahead of schedule. Take a look at the past six years and when we've seen peak bloom. Now the past five years have all featured peak bloom earlier than average. We have to go back to 2018. That was the last time we saw a peak bloom later than that average April 4th date and that was just on April 5th. So a reminder that we are starting to see that peak bloom occurring earlier and earlier. So as we head through the next several weeks, here's what you can expect in terms of the stages of the cherry blossoms again already starting to see a few of those green buds popping out on some of the trees and that is stage one stage two visible florets stage three extension of florets everyone's favorite is stage four when we talk about peduncle elongation then we get to puffy white and finally peak bloom when 70 percent of the yoshino cherry trees around the tidal basin are in bloom